The United Engine Corporation, or UEC, presented the new NK36ST32 gas turbine engine at the St. Petersburg International Gas Forum in October 2025. It marks an important step for Russia's fuel and energy industry. With a 32 megawatt power output, it is the first Russian industrial engine of its kind, created by experts at the Samara-based company UEC Kuznetsov. It ensures continuous and efficient gas transportation through trunk pipelines and is designed for use in gas compressor units. This project not only expands the NK series of industrial engines, but also allows Russia to fully replace imported Western energy equipment in this power class. In recent years, Russia has struggled to achieve technological independence in industries that rely heavily on foreign technology, especially in energy, oil, and gas infrastructure. Previously, this market segment was almost entirely dependent on imported equipment, since the country had not developed its own 32-megawatt gas turbines. Western turbines like the Siemens SGT750 and SGT800, the GE LM2500, plus G4 and LM9000, and the solar turbines Mars 100 and Titan 130 were commonly used. Many of these systems were installed in the 2000s in projects built to meet international standards, and they powered a large number of compressor stations across Russia. After sanctions from the EU and the United States restricted the sale of advanced energy equipment, this segment became vulnerable. The new NK36 ST32 turbine now fills the gap left by Western machines, ensuring that gas can continue to move through major pipelines without the risk of shutdowns due to spare part shortages or service problems. Based on UEC Kuznetsov's aviation turbojet technology, the NK36 S32 is the next evolution of the NK series industrial gas turbines. For many years, energy facilities across Russia have successfully used the earlier NK36ST25 model, which produces 25 megawatts of power. Over 630 of these engines are in operation nationwide, pumping gas from the Arctic North to the steppe regions under harsh conditions. The next logical step in platform development was creating the 32 megawatt version this upgrade improves performance and environmental efficiency through new materials, a low-emission combustion chamber, and an enhanced cooling system. Even under sanctions, such advancements are vital for Russia as it aligns with future international emission standards. The NK36 ST32 operates at around 38% efficiency and generates 32 megawatts of nominal power. This means it converts a large share of the fuel's energy into mechanical power, lowering gas consumption at compressor stations. Such efficiency brings real economic benefits, reducing fuel costs and cutting emissions in systems that run nonstop for years. A key design feature is its modern low-emission combustion chamber, which cuts nitrogen oxide, or NOx, levels in exhaust gases. Even though gas turbines are already cleaner than coal power plants, global trends now push for even lower emissions, and this engine meets those expectations. Thanks to the NK36ST25's design continuity, the new model can be integrated into existing infrastructure with minimal modification. That's crucial for many operating compressor stations, as it boosts efficiency and power without requiring costly overhauls. By September 2025, the first NK36 ST32 prototype had completed its initial round of factory testing in Samara. During these tests, the engine reached its rated power and met all technical requirements. Engineers simulated real operating conditions to confirm the turbine's stability and thermal performance. The successful test results paved the way for mass production. UEC officials confirmed that the new turbine will soon be deployed at new facilities and during modernization projects. In the coming years, it will enter service with major gas transport companies, including Gazprom and Transneft. Before 2022, Western gas turbines were widely used in Russian projects requiring 30 to 35 megawatts of power. The most common were Siemens SGT-800 and SGT-750, 
GE's LM2500 plus G4 and LM9000, and solar turbines Titan 130 and Mars 100. These machines were efficient and reliable, but after 2022, supply disruptions and lack of servicing made them difficult to maintain. In this context, the NK36ST32 serves as a direct replacement for Western units such as the Siemens SGT750 and the Solar Titan 130. In some cases, it even matches the GE LM2500 plus G4 in performance. The low emission design meets the same environmental standards as Western equivalents and achieves comparable efficiency. Installing the NK36ST32 in new and upgraded stations can cut long term operating costs. Lowering specific fuel consumption on trunk pipelines can save billions of rubles annually while reducing foreign dependence and currency risks. Service availability is another key advantage. Because the NK36ST32 is maintained and repaired domestically, downtime is reduced and reliance on foreign vendors is eliminated. This is especially critical for pipelines that serve export routes to Asia and other regions. The turbine's low emission chamber also helps improve local air quality near large compressor hubs by cutting nitrogen oxide emissions. Since many stations are close to populated areas, cleaner exhaust directly benefits nearby residents. Improved fuel efficiency also means lower greenhouse gas emissions for the same gas throughput. This aligns the NK36ST32 with global carbon reduction goals while boosting economic efficiency. UEC Kuznetsov plans to expand its industrial engine lineup, possibly creating even more powerful and efficient versions. The NK36ST32's technology could also be adapted for power generation in combined cycle plants that produce both heat and electricity. This innovation also has strong export potential. Countries in Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America are increasingly interested in reliable turbines that don't depend on Western servicing. Russia can offer such equipment through infrastructure and energy cooperation programs. In conclusion, the NK36ST32 represents a major step toward Russia's energy independence. With 32 megawatts of output, high fuel efficiency, and low emissions, it fills the gap left by Siemens, GE, and solar turbines. Its compatibility with existing systems ensures a smooth transition, and successful tests confirm industrial readiness. As a clear example of effective import substitution, the NK36ST32 strengthens Russia's gas sector and opens new paths for technology export. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.